You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. Do you want to talk about complex carbohydrates and simple carbs? Like again, I'll give you my lifestyle. Huh. Hmm. I avoid maida as far as possible. Like flour, anything that's made out of flour. Hmm. Uh, that's my second biggest villain after sugar. Huh, huh, Always, huh. it's been that way for me, and it's worked well for me. Huh. Um, I don't mind whole wheat, though they say that in the modern even whole wheat isn't too healthy. Mm. That's the narrative I've heard. Um, that's not true. I'll that's, take that back. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's only true in certain patients where there is a disproportionate of good gut bacteria. People are going crazy on this gluten free thing. Mm. <laughs> you need to dial down a little bit. Gluten free is, has become such a big health hack. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think when you go gluten free, you're avoiding maida automatically, and that's why people are associating and sugar. It, uh, the actual narrative about gluten free is the celiac disease. If you have celiac disease, then it affects you. But the incidence is extremely low. Uh, and the biggest thing why people are getting better with gluten free diet is because most of the people have underlying irritable bowel syndrome IBS so IBS happens IBS is a disease irritable bowel syndrome which means your bowel is very sensitive okay and which essentially means or what we discussed so far bad bacteria is so high good bacteria is low that's why it is very sensitive it's right years of abuse years of abuse so you have IBS right so what happens is this when you have IBS you are very sensitive to certain foods when you take wheat barley rye it also comes along with something called fructans f r u c t a n s fructans and that fructans is extremely stimulating the sensitive gut so when i see a patient with ibs i say you know avoid fructans and they say oh avoid fructans oh then i cannot eat gluten oh then go gluten free so many of these people who are getting better on gluten free has the subtle ibs going on because all the factors that we talked about in their modern lifestyle has not been fixed and they, they go gluten free and they get better this is not celiac disease at all okay only in a minority maybe celiac disease yeah uh where i was coming from about whole wheat not being as healthy as it was was something i think that abhi and new told me uh, abhi and new are content creators from india huh, huh. very well researched work huh. etc mm. Uh, they said that um, basically the top soil layer in Punjab, mm -hmm. where most of the country's mm -hmm. wheat is grown, mm -hmm. is devoid of the bacteria it used to have. Uh -huh. Therefore, all the benefits that we associate uh -huh. with whole wheat uh -huh. may not be present anymore. Uh -huh. So I think the more broken down version of that argument is it's still a complex carbohydrate, correct, which correct. takes time for your gut to absorb. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have as much of the nutrients as it used to have 100 years ago. Could be. Could be. So in my practice in Sacramento, where I practice, there are lots of Punjabi community. Lots of Punjabi. Everybody has gluten allergy or celiac disease huh? for some reason. I don't know why. That doesn't make sense to me. But, it's, but what, what is the logic? So I think that few people might have this IBS what we talked about. But there might be a slight incidence of actual celiac disease as well. Increase in the autoimmunity, especially in Punjabi community where I, I, I'm not making this up. It's in, it's uh, but for generations they've had wheat. Huh. So I think there is some change in this, uh, you remember the inflammatory casket that we talked about. I think that has to do something with that, right? So it has to be the immune system lining the gut might be super stimulated and then starting to uh, generate antibodies against wheat and damaging the small intestine so it doesn't get absorbed. So there is a slight trend in that for sure. The key with complex carbohydrates for me is uh, try avoiding maida. I also don't eat too much white rice. I eat white rice, but I enjoy eating eat it on a day where I'm really physically ha, ha, active. Ha, ha, ha. Um, it's helped me. Again, that's my subject. Ha, 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 ha. Do you want to move away from carbohydrates? Um, one suggestion that I can give is, you know, I love white rice. In my weight loss journey, what was sustainable for me was my willpower went down when I was forcing myself to eat brown rice and quinoa mixed with curd. But my willpower was good in managing all my other prof profiles while I was eating small amount of white rice with curd because I love the taste. So rice has been like blamed as very bad. That's not true. Uh, limited quantities in moderation to enjoy the journey is absolutely okay. Yeah, I think my big problem with rice, and I'm also a rice lover, eating too much rice in my mm -hmm. life. But uh, the problem I see in India is lots of people order a portion of rice after eating like a whole meal. Um, this I've seen a lot, especially when people go out to restaurants, they'll order biryani post, uh, you know, eating like full naan and butter paneer. I've, I've seen this a lot in North India. Personally, I feel that's too much carbohydrate. And secondly, people don't do portion control, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like that small amount, okay. 
but people go crazy with correct, the carbon tax correct correct that, so, that, that's the major problem i don't think it'll change either like <laughs> as in we are talking on this podcast but whatever but what can change is let's say you have that white rice right if you my trick to my patient is that split into half take the half first and then replace the other half with some kind of vegetables correct and always when you go to a restaurant or something i always say that okay you know our biryani right we know that restaurant biryani is going to be high calories and we know that but we still go because we like the taste and everything when i go to a restaurant when i order a biryani i will eat biryani it's not that i don't eat it i always get a two go box first i open it when the biryani comes i split it into half put it in the box <laughs> and then i use it later especially late at night i don't eat it at night at all mm. uh, so i did a reel on it i got a really bad thing from like how can you do this to biryani <laughs> biryani is my emotion <laughs> <laughs> well biryani will be your emotion 30 40 years from now <laughs> as well <laughs> when you're on a hospital bed <laughs> <laughs> new clips released at the same time that a podcast releases this is trs clips make sure you subscribe